Hey, what's up guys? Radku here, back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And today is going to be Dragoonides. Now, this is an older archetype that used to um, be like top tier, but it's kind of had a fall from grace. But with the new Dragoonity um, structure deck being released soon, um, or not exactly soon, it's going to be released within the next two years. Um, it's going to promise this deck a lot of better support, and hopefully make this deck um, a rogue contender. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So starting things off, I play three copies of Dragoonity uh, Dukes. Uh, this card gains 200 attack for each Dragoonity card you control, and then when this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 3 or lower Dragoonity monster in your graveyard. Equip that target to this card. So the reason it says um, Dragoonity cards you control is because um, all your Dragoonities, or correction, most of your Dragoonities can equip themselves to um, your other monsters which can help either uh, protect them or give them offensive capabilities so um, a lot of your plays will revolve around being able to summon back your um, uh, your equipped to Dragoonity monsters so then I play three copies of Dragoonity Senatus which with you can discard one Dragoonity card equip one Dragoonity tuner monster from your deck to this card also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except dragon monsters. You can only use this effect um, once per turn. And then if a Dragoonity card you control is destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can destroy one Dragoonity card equipped to this card instead. So, on top of just being able to generically summon out your tuners, which we have quite a few tuners in this deck. I think I, we have like six in total. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of tuners in this deck, and it can definitely help to be able to equip them. So I played three copies of that. I played three copies of Dragoonity Kaos. Uh, cannot be used as synchro material except synchro summon of Dragoonity monster. This card on the field cannot be, or can be treated as a level 4 monster when used as synchro summon. And then if this card is currently equipped to a monster, you can special summon this card. Um, so easy um, equip from the deck with Sinatus, and then you can summon it back and go into um, a rank or a level 8 Dragoonity play, which is really good. Um, then I play uh, three copies of Phalanx. Once per turn, uh, while this monster is equipped, um, you can special summon this equipped card. So super simple effect. The reason I play so many tuners, even though I feel like I should bump them down a bit, is because they're like, they all have summoning effects. And I feel like I should bump up my uh, link monsters some more too, but I feel like this is all in all really good um, cards. The tuner cards are amazing in this deck. Then I play two copies of Dragoonity Achilles. Um, when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one Dragoonity monster from your hand, then equip it with this card. And then when this card is sent to the graveyard while the equipped monster, uh, while equipped to a monster, select one card on the field, destroy it. So, easy destruction. Um, it's pretty good, all in all. You kind of want to leave this equipped to cards instead of summoning it back, but it's still a pretty good card. Then I play, um... Two copies of Dragoonity Arma Mysterian. Um, this card, I'm thinking about bumping it up to three because, again, we don't play nearly enough um, non-tuner monsters, which has been a real problem in all my synchro decks. I really need to work on that a bit. But you can special summon this card by your, from your hand by sending one face of Dragoonity monster you control to the graveyard. Then while this card is normal or special summon from the hand, you can select one Dragon Dragoonity monster in your graveyard, equip it to this card. So you can easily equip your um, uh, your uh, graveyard tuner monsters, which super simple. Then I play two copies of Dragoonity Dark Spear. I'm thinking about getting rid of this. You can tribute one uh, dragon type Dragoonity monster, select one level four or lower winged beast monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So it's kind of a meh card. Um, you don't really play a ton of uh, winged beasts. As a matter of fact, you don't play any. I don't know why I play that card. I'm dumb. Correction, I play a few, but not enough. 
Um, so, yeah, we got this, which is okay. The winged beasts are usually ending up being your combo pieces. Uh, then I play one copy of Dragonity Legionnaire, kind of just as a spot holder until I can think of something better to put it in. Then I play, um, that's it for the Dragonity Monsters. I'd say it's a decent lineup, but you really need to bump up the non-tuner Dragonity Monsters, because you're going to end up bricking with too many tuner monsters in your hand, and not enough of your play starters. Then I play uh, two copies of Jet Synchron, because I do play Halky Fibrax. Um, the reason I play this is because, one, you can do a few Link plays, um, as well as just being able to um, summon out your Tuner Monsters from the deck, which is really good. Um, then I play one Tempest Dragon Ruler of the Storm, just because it's uh, win uh, it's the Wind Dragon Ruler, and it's pretty good. I was initially playing the uh, barrier statue engine in here, the wind one, but the problem was it ended up bricking too much and I would never be able to use it because I'd end up using my normal summon to uh, combo off with my dragoonities. So I wouldn't suggest playing that, but it would be a pretty good lockout if you could use it effectively. One Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, this is one of the reasons why I chose not to play my, um, my barrier statue uh, engine is because we do play the one Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, and it's a really good card that you want to use, so you don't want to um, block it out with your um, barrier statues. Then I play the Gamma Driver combo, um, just because it's a great thing, or it's a great um, set of cards in this format, and I usually put it in most of my decks. And then I play triple copies of Dragon's Ravine. I cut out the terraforming because we have two Romulus, which can search it out. So there's no real need to have terraforming in this deck. So I play three copies of it, but you definitely want to see your um, uh, your dra uh, your Dragon's Ravine. Because you can add your Dragonities to your hand. So you can add your Dukes and your Sanatus and even your um, uh, Arma to your hand. So you have... Eight cards that you can search with uh, your Dragon's Ravine, which is really good, which means you can combo off better. Then I play uh, triple copies of Dragonity Divine Lance. It's funny because this card might end up getting hit on the ban list because it's part of the Dragon Link FTK, but it's been pretty much ignored because um, now the uh, people know how to stop it. So, I play triple copies of this just because it's a great attack point boost, plus it's unaffected by traps, which you can save from your infinite impermanences. Um, you can equip one Dragon-type Dragonity Tuner Monster to this, um, to the monster equipped with this card, which is the main thing you want to use it for, because you can equip, like, your, uh, um, your other monsters and just freely special summon them, which is why I'm saying, because this card, this deck can special summon the tuners from the graveyard, which means that you can't use your um, non-tuners as well, so that's why I'm wanting to bump up the amount of link monsters I play, and lower the amount of uh, the Dragoonity synchro monsters, even though this is a synchro deck, but I still think it's pretty good. Um, then I play, of course, two card of consonants, just because um, we have so many tuners that are, um, 1,000 attack or lower. Like, literally, this is all 1,000 attack and lower. And if we brick with them, we have card of consonants just to draw as many cards as we need. <laughs> then I play two copies of World Legacy Guard Dragon, because this is basically a free special summon from the graveyard, as well as just being able to move your cards around. So if you want to free up a link zone for any reason... You can do that pretty freely. Um, it's not as good in Master Rule 5, but it's still a good card. Then, um, to round off the main deck, I play three copies of Dragoonity Legion. Uh, just because you can uh, target a Dragoonity monster in your Spell or Trap card zone um, and special summon it. and that, Or you could target one Dragoonity monster or control equip that target with a Dragoonity uh, monster from your graveyard. I'm thinking about putting... Um, uh, Foolish Burial in this deck, just as an add-on, because you can uh, send your um, your dra uh, Dragoonity 
um, tuners, which is really good. So that's it for the main deck. I'd say it's pretty solid. And even though we do have a ton of tuner monsters in here, cards like Card of Consonants and um, the fact that you can search it out, basically you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 starters in this deck that you just want to see in your opening hand. If you see one of them, you have close to a full combo. So it's great. So uh, extra deck is super hard to pronounce. Um, th uh, two copies of Dragoonity Knight Vajara. Um, when this synchro summoned... Um, when this card is synchro summoned, you can target one level 3 or lower... Um, Dragon Dragoonity monster in your graveyard, equip that target to this card, um, which is great for synchro building. Um, you can use it to equip like a Phalanx and then special summon Phalanx. And since Phalanx isn't once per turn, you can use that effect multiple times. And I'd say that um, uh, that's a pretty good combo just to be able to get to your higher levels. Um, then I play two copies of Dragoonity Ascalona. Um, this is like your top tier boss monster of the deck. Um, you can banish one Dragoonity monster from your graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls and banish it. So since you have so many cards in the graveyard because of this, um, it's super easy to pull off. Um, then if this Synchro Summon card in its uh, owner's control is destroyed by a card effect. You can special summon um, one Dragoonity Synchro Monster with 3,000 or less attack from your extra deck. Um, it's treated as a Synchro Summon, which you can actually do a really good combo. If you get this out, it gets destroyed. You can summon back this. You can summon this or pretty much any of your other ones and then go into full combo by summoning out the Phalanx. So then I play two copies of Barcha. Um, when this card is synchro summoned, you can select any number of drag dragon type Dragonity monsters in your graveyard. Equip them to this card. The reason I play two copies of this is because you can equip multiple Phalanx and then go into your um, Dragonity Knight Romulus, um, which is really good. And then you can search your Dragon's Ravine and go into more of a combo with your Dukes and Sonatus. So that's a really good card. Uh, one gay blurg. Um, if this, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, if this card, if this card's attacked or is attacked, um, during the damage step, you can remove from play one wi only winged beast monster from your graveyard to have this card gain the attack. Um, it's not very good. Um, you never want to remove your um, winged beast monsters from play because you can end up uh, screwing up any of your future combos. So this is okay. I just have it in here as a placeholder. You can definitely bump up your link monsters, but I just play one of it because of the name. Uh, one Dragoonity Gay Dirg. Uh, once per turn, you can target one level four or lower, or add one level four or lower dragon or winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. And then discard one dragon or winged beast monster. So this is really good. Like this is pretty much essential to a bunch of your combos. You can um, easily search out your um, Sonatus and your Dukes. Just easy to play right there. And really this whole deck revolves around these two cards being able being your combo pieces. And you can search them super easily with Gidurg. Um, one trident, just because, uh, once per turn you can send up to three cards you control to the graveyard, look at your opponent's extra deck, and banish equal to the number. So basically with, um, so many cards that can special summon a variety, or, um, equip a variety of cards, like, um, Divine Lance, it's really good to be able to, um, to destroy monsters, and then be able to um, re recur them, and it's just really good. Then I play one Borlaud Savage Dragon um, and one Lean Leon. Um, if this card is special summon, you can target one Dragoonity monster in your graveyard, equip it, and 
that's pretty much the only important effect. You can target one Dragoon any monster, equip this card to it, and then it gains 300, er, 1,000 attack. That's a meh effect. But then I play one Borlod Savage Dragon. I play two copies of Romulus because it's Romulus. I mean, you can special summon, or uh, you can add your Ravine to your hand, which can add your, um, your combo pieces to your hand, which is needed in this deck. Uh, one Christron Halky Fibrax and one Link Karibo because of Jet Synchron. I don't play the full combo, um, like, I don't play all the cards for the combo, I just play those so that I can easily search out my, my, uh, Dragoonity tuners and be able to use their, um, effects really easily and search them really easily. So, yeah, that's it for the deck profile, guys. I really think this deck could be top tier. I'm personally not the biggest fan of it, um, and I never really play it that often. But I do really like how the deck works. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what you thought of it, and let me know if you want, uh, what other deck profiles that you want. And I will see you in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Peace, guys.